recently saw a local pizza joint make the news in a bad way because the manager lost it. Yes, that's horrible. While being recorded by the customer. Even worse. Uh, what are some ways to calm down while still in the heat of it to avoid situations like this? So, Alex, the first thing is always train your manager to remove themselves if it gets to that. If you saw me, <laughs> if you saw me and we had a problem and you saw me pulling my phone out <laughs> and finding the button to take a picture, that would be the moment where you'd be like, whoa, something is really bad here. So I would uh, find a way to, uh, you know, basically get private, go to somewhere that's private or away from the store, have someone else join you. Uh, but the big thing when it gets to all, when you feel your heart is going, and I've had those moments as well, just restate what the problem is. You know, what I hear you asking is you bought a plant three years ago, it died, you want your money back, we can't do that. What I can do is to look at the plant and tell you what went wrong, but our policy is we don't do that and state it. And they're screaming and they're getting out of phone. That's one thing. But usually people get on a phone when you are the one that's made a problem, right? You said, well, you're just an idiot for doing it, or you shouldn't have done that. And so this whole shaming and, and trying to make someone feel bad, that's what they're videoing. And God forbid it's someone who's a different sex or color or sexual orientation or fill in the blank than you, because now you have this altercation, which is great for social media, because we all love to watch the fight. Yeah, don't do that. And uh, more importantly, um, I mean, again, I'm just thinking about what could they possibly have done to pizza? Like, oh, I ordered that with extra cheese. Damn it. <laughs> no, you didn't. You're an idiot. Get out. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of glad that they didn't have cell phones back when I was, uh, I was selling. I remember I was in downtown Los Angeles and I was selling at Florsham Shoe Stores. And I am 18 years old. I'm in college. And this guy opens the door. He takes his shoes. He throws them at me. And he goes, these wore out too quick. And it, it like glances my shoulder. I picked up both shoes. I threw them right back out of my go. When, when you can actually treat me with respect, I'll treat you with respect. Get the hell out of my store. And uh, so he, um, I can't believe that. And he grabbed the shoes. He walked out. He came back in. I'm sorry. I kind of blew it. I go, eh, well, so did I. So um, the district manager, that's how I got a store because you don't take crap. I was like, well, no, I'm not going to let somebody throw shoes at me. But uh, ultimately... Uh, he came around, but let's be honest, um, it's never good for someone to get that, that heated. So I hope you like that.